Hello guys, Bright Owl here, back with another video. Today's an interesting video, as you can see, by my OBS recording its own screen. But today I'm going to show you how to get the perfect quality, video quality on OBS. So first of all, you want to go into your settings over here. I go to settings, as you can see settings. Hope I hope you can see settings, yep, you can see settings. So we have general stream output audio video hotkeys and so if you're just getting into obs this is a very good tutorial for you so basically the first thing that we want to change first of all we change nothing in here then next up we have stream which you can change your service so facebook live twitch youtube anyway output is when we really change our first thing so change your hard change it to your hardware and then there should be something in parentheses which should be the hardware same thing for the that's the encoder and the audio bitrate you want to change the recording quality to indistinguishable quality large file size there are different things but since i'm recording it won't do let me change it obviously then change your recording format to mp4 as you can see and then you can use whatever bitrate you have, if wh whatever bitrate bitrate your PC can handle. Right there. Then audio bitrate, I just have it one sixty. Next up, we have audio. This is where all of your audio is. So, for example, I can just use my my normal microphone. So now, obviously, I'm using my microphone. Same thing for here. And then this is where you want your um your stuff to go. This is your desktop audio, so this is if you're playing a game, and you have that open, that's where the audio is. So there is push to talk audio, not push to talk audio, there are hotkeys, and there you can add a delay. So each millisecond is obviously a millisecond. And I think there's a thousand milliseconds in a second, so if you wanted to click your mute, your um, push to mute, you want it to be a second delayed put it at a thousand milliseconds next up we have video you want it to be 1920 by 1080 and you want to change the common fps values to 60 and then you want it to be bicubic sharpen scaling 16 samples that's what you want your downscale filter to be next up we have hotkeys hotkeys are a very important thing when you are recording a video nobody wants no, not a lot of people want to see you manually go into your OBS and then click record and then tap back over to your game or whatever you're recording. So you always want to have hotkeys and make your hotkey the same thing for start recording, stop, stop recording, stop, start streaming, stop streaming. Because the stop, because the second version, so like unpause or stop recording or stop streaming the stop is only enabled when the start has already been a thing then i would also put a pause as well because um if you want to pause it instead of cutting it to save uh the disk space you can always do that and then you can change the studio mode so this is a pretty important part but it's not it doesn't play that big of a role in um in the quality so basically once we go over here we want to Change the color for mat to NV12, color space to 601, and then you want to do all this. So I will go back over the stream quality again just for you guys to show you. Here it is. You can also pause the video right now to see all of it. And then you, all, you always want to push apply just to make sure everything you have changed has been applied. Because it would be pretty bad if you just did this, did this entire video and didn't actually apply it. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. It's been Bright Owl, and it's been an honor having you to my video. Thank you, and have a good day.